Welcome back to Calvary Kids. We're stoked you're here. It's Father's Day, so you gotta give your dad a hug. Let's get right into worship. Hey everybody, we're gonna sing River of Life, and if you're on this side of the room, you're gonna be Splish. Splish! And if you're on this side of the room, you're gonna be Splash. Splash! All right, let's sing. myself a little breakfast and I was reading in Joshua chapter 9 actually thinking about you guys did you know in Joshua chapter 9 there's a town called Gibeon <sighs> crazy right I can't even imagine but these guys were terrified of the Israelites like ah! you know what I mean like terrified and here's what they did they made a plan that they were gonna try to sneak into the Israelites and blend in try to be a part of them, you know? They wanna, they don't wanna be destroyed by them. I mean, I wouldn't. But here's what it would look like. First step is they got dressed. They made it look like they had been walking, traveling for a long time, even though they were really close to the Israelites. So they acted really tired. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have, I have no water. <laughs> it's all gone. Step two, they had to have a story. They planned it ahead, and when they got to the Israelites, they told them this big lie. Oh, we came from a really far country. We've been walking for a long time. Uh, we heard about you guys. Uh, we want to be friends. Was that true? Mmm, 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 mmm. But do you know what the saddest part about this story is? It's that the Israelites actually believed the Gibeonites lies. They believed that they were from a really far away country. They believed that they had been walking for weeks, years, I don't know. They believed it. Now, how did they believe it? Well, they forgot to pray to God, and that is the most important thing. You see, the enemy tries to make lies and deceive us in all kinds of ways, and he's pretty good at it. You might believe him, but if we pray to God, it becomes very clear. Am I right? Yeah, I think so. These Israelites missed the point, but you don't have to. You should pray next time. Obviously, the Gibeonites are not going to try to fool us because they're not around anymore. But it's a really good example of what the enemy tries to do in our lives. He tries to make up stories, dress up, tell us lies, all that stuff. They try to get you. But what do you remember about the story? The Israelites did not pray to God and ask for his wisdom. They just believed it instantly. So next time... If you ever think that the enemy is trying to deceive you or lie to you, what do you do? 
You pray to God. It's so simple because he will always give you the answer. It may not be instant like, but he will give you the answer. Now, I encourage you to read this whole chapter with your family, your siblings, anyone, and, and read real closely and look at all the small details, how they really tried to deceive the Israelites. And they were pretty good at it because the Israelites believed it. So you got to be careful. Remember to pray to God always. He's always willing to hear your prayers and talk to you wherever you are, whenever. Alrighty, guys, I will catch you next week. Keep it cool. Review time. Woo! Welcome back to Review Time. So glad you're with us. I'm Jen. And I'm Buck. And we are here live in the Saharan Desert. Woo! It's beautiful. Look at all that, uh, look at all that sand. Sand, that's what I was thinking about. Why, why are we here again? Oh, oh, because there's a lot of sand and nothing. My else new to do. pet, Savannah. We're here for Savannah. Savannah needs sand. Well, we can get that at the Home Depot. I didn't know that. All right, hold up. Let me get the sand. Get your sand. Let's go. Woo! Just like that. Yep, she's happy. Hey, look over yonder. It looks like a lake. Maybe we can get home that way. That is a lake. Let's go get it. I'll race you. Oh, really? Let's go. Go, go, go. I don't think that was a lake. I don't think so. I think it was a mirage. It's getting real hot. I need water now. Water. water. <laughs> Did you not bring any in your backpack? Maybe we should check. Okay, you go for it. Oh, let's check. Oh, I have a backpack too. That's right. I got a, I got a volleyball. That's not what you want. I got a fishing pole. What? Basketball. Why do you need that? Football. What? Hammer. Hammer? Whoop cream. What? Oh, it's empty. Uh, oh, come on. I hate when that happens. That's all I got. What do I got? Paper towels. You always make a mess. I gotta bring those. What are paper towels? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's just my little bunny book. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, here it is. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, uh, oh. Why do you have an inflatable unicorn? Oh, I thought it might rain. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hey, what are them up there? What is that? Is that purriers? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, They're ice cold. Ice cold purriers. I've never tried one of these. All right, let's open them up. It's it's a pari. It's purrier. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Who can drink this stuff? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's that is nasty. Disgusting. Let's keep going. Uh, uh, you know what? What? We kind of failed. We did fail. But you know who didn't fail? Who's that? This kid right here, Corbin. Corbin? Right Let's check it out. Okay, Corbin, what did Aiken steal? Gold, silver, garment, and garments. Good job. Spectacular job, Corbin. Well done. Proud of you. Real proud. It's still hot out here. It though. is so hot. It's oh. hotter than a bullfrog in a frying pan. What? Whew. Okay. That's a thing. It's oh. a southern thing. Okay. Have you seen Listen. the view wheel? Is that what I think it is right there? Right. Oh my goodness. What is in the they, sand? They look me. They come on. There it is. I'm oh. Getting it. oh, 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 oh. What? Woo. Can you believe it out here oh in the Saharan Desert? There it is. Hey, buddy. Corbin, this week. I'm spinning for Buck. Woo! Here we go. This is for you, Corbin. Woo! I hope it's good. Water, Water balloon. balloon! What? Well, Corbin, I hate to break it to you, but we are in the desert, so there is going to be no water ballooning today. I am wait, so sorry. Wait, 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 Corbin! Sorry, Check it out! I brought a water wait, balloon! Wait, 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 oh, wait, wait! wait. Ah! I'm sorry, Buck. I guess we don't know how to do things. You know who knows a lot of stuff, though? Who? Them kids know a lot of stuff. That's true. They do. Check out this questione for next week. And send us your answer right here to this email address below. Check out the question. Well, kids, it's been great here in the Saharan Desert. It sure has. Remember to read your Bibles. Pray every day. And we will see you next week.
on Review Time. Hi, boys and girls. Grab your Bible and turn to Luke 15, 11. Jesus told another parable, another story about God's love. There was a man who had two sons. He owned a big farm. The youngest son did not want to work anymore. Did you see the sweat on his face? He was over it. He did not want to work. He wanted to travel and see the world and have fun. So he asked his father for his share of the family money. The son got the money, he packed up his things and he left. He couldn't wait to see the world. His family was so sad to see him go. Do you see his, his father and his son? They're waving, but they look so sad. At first, the man had fun spending the money on fancy clothes and on good food, but then the money ran out. He had to go work and he had to work with pigs in a farm. Whew, that's hard work and that does not look fun at all, does it? He was so hungry that he thought the pig's food looked really good. Whew, he had to have been so hungry because it doesn't look good, does it? So the son wanted to go back home. He said, I will tell my father, I am so sorry for what I have done. I do not deserve to be called his son. Maybe he will let me work for him. The father saw his son coming down the road. His eyes filled with tears as he ran to greet his son. His son said, please dad, forgive me. And he did. That night, they had a big party. The father exclaimed, my son was lost, but now he's found. Jesus explained this story. God is like this father. He is full of love and joy when people who are lost come back to him. Are we lost sometimes? Do we decide to put our Bible down um, and not listen to church or watch it online or go to church? We think, oh, we'll do it tomorrow. We're going to go outside and go bike riding or go play. We're not going to pray. We, we kind of set God aside and set our Bibles aside. But is God still there? Absolutely. He's always there. He loves you so much. So sometimes we get distracted. It happens to all of us. But God is right there. And he loves us so much. So remember, when you wake up in the morning, pray to God and thank him and remember him. And get out your Bible and read it. Or have your family members read it to you before you start your day. Maybe before breakfast or after breakfast. You can sit and open your Bible and read and pray and thank God. So let's pray and let's ask him to help us, okay? okay put your hands together. Father God, thank you, Lord, for all that you do. You always love us. You're always there. Even when we make bad decisions, Lord, you're always there. And you forgive us, Lord. I pray that we don't get distracted. When we wake up and we see the sun out, we want to go and play and do all kinds of fun things. Maybe go to the beach, Lord. But if we sit and pray and seek you and read our Bibles, even turn on some worship music, Lord, and we think about you first before ourselves. And then we go on with our day, loving others as you have loved us. Lord, so we want to make you our number one priority, Lord. And thank you for loving us. We just thank you so much. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us again, guys. We love you. We're praying for you. Have an awesome week, and we'll see you next time.